Hi, Hi we're Anthony K. And we're taking you through a day in the life at Havoc Festival. Typical day in the life of FVK uh, on a gig day like this. Jump in the van, get to the venue, load the stuff in, sound check, <laughs> press. Festival with Fearless Wine Party on this, how are we doing? Good. Play a gig. <laughs> Meet the fans. <laughs> Have a few drinks. That's it. Currently set up for the Imminent Havoc Festival. Um, I am restringing, setting up my bass guitar and uh, keyboard and all that mumbo jumbo. As you can see. Three, two, one, lift off! I'm here in front of the next day. I'm needy! I got gigantic balls! actually have space, I like to write uh, my novels and stuff, I like to do that. Um, I would try and write songs, but the problem is there's always loud music and people running around, so... But writing literature is quite easy, because you can... If you've got a table or something, you can cut yourself off from the world, and um, yeah, you can do that. Uh, do we have any rituals at shows? We, we tend to put on some electro swing, just have a little dance. <laughs> And then we always kind of high five and shake hands before the show. But that's just that. So, what made us put on our own festival? What made us put on our own festival, Drew? Greed. <laughs> Greed, yeah. Money. That is it. No, um, it was a mixture of things. One, we wanted to, to do something a bit different this summer. Two, we wanted to kind of get some bros together and sort of build, a, build the scene a little bit and kind of support some smaller, smaller, that sounds horrible, some less fortunate bands. <laughs> sounds like we're a charity, yeah? <laughs> a charity organisation. Part, part of our gig day really is to go out and meet fans down, queuing up outside, queuing ridiculously early as ever. But yeah, we, I mean, we always think it's really important just because, I don't know, like, um, especially, we're so connected now online, we always talk to people so it doesn't feel there's less disconnect now between bands and fans, I think, and I think it's just important to show people that you care, show the people that you appreciate them turning up against all odds. I mean, some of our fans like come to every show of the tour and just drive across the country. That you know, the least we can do is go out and you know have a little chat, kind of take some silly photos and stuff. And it's always yeah, it's good fun, good catching up with people as well.